Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C. Let's go ahead and continue FS Fort. We're almost done here. I think I've just got four more missions, and I think the last one's going to be a dual parter, so just three more videos. The location of the soul system. The well, shit. The position here in Sirius for the subspace jump to Delta Serpentis. From Delta Serpentis, she will certainly make the jump to Sol to well, destroy Well, Earth's fucked. From the records you retrieved in Altair, we Probably have a good idea to make sure everything gets moved the off there, I guess. As you know, our shield systems do not work in subspace. The same holds true for the Lucifer. More importantly, the records contain Based the information on several thousand year old data. Ship into and inside I mean, with how far advanced they are, you really don't think they've advanced space, at all? We believe a small I guess not. Force may be sufficient to destroy it. We have been assigned the task of destroying the Lucifer before she reaches Sol. The Bastion is currently en route to intercept the Lucifer at the Sirius Delta Serpentis Also, hasn't the fleet no. been, uh, destroyed? The so, like, to provide close how are we going to deal with the Sheevans after this? Payload of Harbingers. We believe that without the shielding system so we're going to use Ursas so heavily, and Harbingers. The Lucifer will be vulnerable. Keep in mind that this is a time-critical operation. If we do not enter subspace soon after the Lucifer, we cannot launch our attack. From your earlier scans of the Lucifer in the Deneb system, we have determined that it is powered by five primary reactors. These reactors are spread out across the Lucifer. If all five reactors are destroyed in a short period of time, the Lucifer won't have a chance. That sounds like a surviving. huge design flaw. Like, oh, if you shoot our reactors, you know, we have no backup systems to prevent it we from We don't exploding. have much time. Report for mission briefings immediately. Alright, let's see. We have few chances to stop the Lucifer. It is heading to the Soul System, but we have an opportunity to head them off at Sirius. So, we're gonna try and stop them at if Sirius. If you the Lucifer and Sirius, hold it off until the rest of the fleet can catch up with you. So, basically, we're gonna try and act as bait for the Lucifer and hope that they take it instead of destroying our homeworld. That's great. Let's see, where's the Banshee? Disruptor, ML-16. Oh, the Ulysses can't carry that. What else do I have? I'll take the Hercules. Toss on a Banshee and... Let's see, the Prometheus, probably. There we go. Go with Interceptors will work. I don't really want Furies. So I'll go with the Phoenix and can I carry a Hornet? That's all bombs. Yes. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump in. And Delta Serpentis. Just 15 kilometers away. I'm sure we can catch the Lucifer. With wait. Just fighters here. Okay. No sign of the Lucifer. We'll have to proceed to Delta Serpentis. Okay, I was wondering when the Bastion would show up. New bandits in the area. Okay. Hostile fighters. This looks like an ambush. Uh, I think you might be right, we'll Alpha Three. Bastion. So, got a destroyer coming in. Like I said, you know, there's more than one Sheevan ship. I'm not entirely sure how taking out the Lucifer is going to ultimately change the war. Alright, let's take this guy out, and he's gone. There are really only two fighters? I guess there are. We'll hold off on firing missiles quite yet because uh, one thing with Free Space One is capital ship battles aren't very spectacular, and capital ships really don't do that much damage to each other, particularly when you're talking about destroyers. So, yep, there we go. 
usually what they do is launch bombers against each other and that's what does the damage. And given that we are on the defensive here, I'd rather uh, be able to take out these bombers. So as soon as I get in range, I'm going to fire missiles. Well, as soon as I get locked, I'm going to fire missiles. The other good thing is there's not really any great anti-fighter weaponry, so I don't have to worry too much about getting closer to this destroyer. But if I did this in Free Space 2, this would basically be suicide. But it's not, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, let's take out these bombers before they can get in range and attack the Bastion. And then hopefully, uh, the Bastion can launch bombers or something. I don't know why it's not launching more fighters. Uh, missiles, missiles, missiles need to evade. Alright, looks like Indra Wing is going to be the bombers. There's three of them. Yeah, I think I see all three of them here, so none have gotten through the fighter screen yet. Uh, the Bastion is taking some damage, though, so that's not good. Down to 97%. But, uh... Not sure how this will go. Okay. One more bomber. Yep, that's it on bombers. Yeah, about all the that destroyer has, uh, the Tondalus, is uh, just some anti-fighter missiles. Which I'm not too terribly worried about because missiles are actually rather easy to evade. As long as you have enough countermeasures. I still have 15 left. So, let's go ahead and... Oh shit, he exploded quickly. Okay, and he dodged my missiles. I'm surprised that there's no more bombers being launched. I mean, I know that there's only a limited number of fighters or spacecraft or anything that can be on screen at once, but still. Alright. Calling a support ship just in case I need more missiles, and we do have bombers in now. But kind of snipe them before they really get far from the ship that launched them. Or at least try to. Looks like he's taking damage now, so I guess the Bastion has better weapons than I would give me a credit for. I mean, there are anti-capital ship missiles, they just don't do a whole lot. Now, sir. 
there's no enemy fighter, so I'm just going to order everybody to attack his subsystem here. I mean, why not make it a little bit harder for him to do any damage? I also need to keep an eye make sure he doesn't actually launch anybody, because then I'll need to order everybody to break off. Alright, let's see if they'll let me fire missiles. There we go. And his weapons are almost gone. Got the 12% and... He's moving all of a sudden. Bastion ramming or something? Because he's moving backwards really quickly. And they're both taking a lot of damage. Well, the Bastion didn't take too much damage, but still. Okay. No? Bastion's just sitting here. Uh, let's see. Engage enemy. Roger, sir. On our way. Probably shouldn't have used all those missiles, but oh well. The one need to keep an eye on the Tantalus because it's taking a lot of damage. Take out these bombers before they can do any damage to the Bastion. Might know, still no sign of the Lucifer, so I guess Terran Intelligence screwed up again. Uh, I guess at least we're not going to have to worry about them for long. And shit, the Bastion got hit by a bomb. Uh, crap. Mega Bomb, that's a great name for a bomb. Fuck. Yeah, the Bastion's taking a hell of a lot of damage all of a sudden. Looks like we are going to actually win this fight because uh, Tantalus is actually pretty badly damaged. So I guess I was wrong about the weapons that they had. Uh, they're just not they're not as impressive as Free Space 2, of course, about several decades in the future as far as uh, in the universe is concerned. Let's take this guy out. I got distracted by something there. Uh, all fighters form on my wing. And let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Full stop. And let's watch the fireworks here. Or see if we can't get into a better position to watch the fireworks here. There we go. He's about to explode. I think. It still shows taking damage, but... There we go. I suppose it's possible for us to win if they don't, if, you know, the Shivans don't use uh, their numerical superiority against us, which they didn't hear. I need to rearm. Calling in a support ship. So I guess we're going to escort the Bastion the rest of the way. About a minute left. Let's go ahead and time accelerate until anything jumps in. 
Entering subspace now. We will rendezvous with you there. Go to the subspace node and depart, Alpha. Oh shit. I have to actually get over there. There we go. That was quick. The GTD Bastion is in prime condition to assault the Lucifer. We are proceeding to Delta Serpentis now. That's good to hear. Anyways, until next time, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.